develop hundreds of thousands of new soybean lines every year, it's very important that you have a system to evaluate those products to find the very best lines. And that's the job of our soybean research team. I've got Rodney Pinnico here, the soybean research team leader with us, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the process they use to evaluate these products. Rodney, what can you tell me about this piece of equipment we've got here? Well, when we do research plots, it's all about precision. So on these tractors here, we run GPS, uh, so we can also run auto steer and our tripping system on our planter. Uh, that's a very important part of, uh, of our research program. Uh, the planters uh, are all set up uh, with a splitter system so we can pack, package uh, uh, one envelope of seed and split it into uh, three individual rows. Um, the plots are actually a six row plot where we harvest the center four rows. So we take one envelope and actually put it into the seed splitter that we have here. It uh, diversifies the seed into three equal units, which goes into these three row cones on this side. As we move through the field, every nine feet is our plot length, and we leave a four and a half foot alleyway. Uh, the GPS will coordinate to when to trip the cones and the seed down. So everything's right where it needs to be. Now these, you know, these, these rows look a little narrower than what we're used to. This is new for our program this year. We are on 20 inch rows this year. Uh, we plant a six row plot. We harvest the center four rows. Um, that's uh, um, part of our uh, ongoing development on uh, higher populations in uh, soybeans. These planters are planted, uh, used to plant uh, corn and soybeans. Uh, so it's a very unique uh, part of our operation today. Now about how many plots uh, did you guys plant this year with, these, with this equipment? We planted uh, 900,000 plots uh, with, these, with these planters. We, you know, we get to harvest season, obviously you've got all these 900,000 plots. Tell me a little bit about how we go through that process. These are some uh, specially made uh, research combines. Uh, these are set up with this new uh, new row configuration we have. It means we went to 20 inch rows, we had to redesign the headers for these combines. So this is set up to do uh, uh, the four harvested rows out of the six row plot. Um, the plot is, uh, is harvested. Uh, the seed comes up into the combine. It's got a rasp bar cylinder similar to a to a farmer's combine. Um, the unique thing is about this machine, it uh, has air clean out, so we can clean every plot sample in around five seconds. Uh, so every, every plot comes through the combine, goes through the cleaning system. The clean air, clean seat comes up through the air delivery system into this weigh hopper. Uh, this weigh hopper on this combine will take the weight. We have a computer on this machine that will actually log all the test weights for every plot. And after we uh, take that data, we have the option of either discarding the seed or keeping the seed. Uh, we, we evaluate this before the season on what plots we're going to keep for reuse seed and what sorts, uh, plots we need to discard. Um, if we're going to discard the seed, it goes into a cross auger, which goes into the grain tank. We can discard the seed into a, to a grain wagon. Uh, if we do decide to uh, keep the, uh, the seed, after it goes into the, out of, gets collected out of the waste system, we can collect that sample into a mesh bag. We have a tag that's uh, uh, set up that goes with each individual plot. We'll tag that plot sample. And on the side of this combine, we have an, an eight rag bagging system where we can put seed sacks on here. Uh, so we'll take those uh, harvested samples that we're gonna keep, and we'll put them in the, the bag that's properly set up for, uh, for the plot layout. We'll take them to the warehouse for, uh, uh, for storage. And that seed will be used in future evaluations for another trial. That's for correct. Further evaluation. That's correct. So, on a, I guess give me an idea. Obviously, you've got 900,000 plots to get through. I mean, I mean, you obviously have a lot of work to do. How many plots uh, in a day do you hope to get done with this equipment? Well, when we're when we're uh, bagging the seed, we can do 1,200 plots in a given day. If we're discarding seed, we can do anywhere from 2,000 to 2,400 plots in a day when we're discarding the seed. So the amount of seed. Uh, that's harvested in a given day per combine is uh, uh, very, very, uh, very good. But at the end of the day, if you're going to find the very best varieties out there, that's the work that has to be done, isn't it? That's correct. Thank you, Rodney. So as you can see, it takes a lot of effort to come up with the very best lines to offer to our grower customers. But that's our commitment to offer the highest yielding products and the traits growers want for maximum yield and profitability.